welcome to another Bits Turtle video. I'm eager to share a scalping technique with you that boasts a high accuracy rate, ideal for scalping and trading within ranges, particularly when the market isn't showing clear trends. For optimum success, there are several key factors to keep in mind, which I'll walk you through step by step. Stick with me till the end to grasp it all. We're delving into a 5-minute scalping strategy, so we'll set our chart time frame to 5 minutes. I've pulled up Bitcoin's price chart, but you can apply this scalping strategy to any other financial asset, whether it's crypto, forex, or stocks. A key criterion for this strategy is ensuring a robust trading volume and liquidity. Given the fast-paced nature of scalping, we want to avoid significant price gaps or wide buy-sell spreads caused by thin order books. These can disrupt our entry, stop loss, and take profit positions. To lay the groundwork, we'll start by adding three essential indicators. Click on Indicators, Search, and Select. First up is the RSI. For the RSI, tweak its settings, under the Inputs tab, adjust the RSI length to 7. Next, we bring in the Stochastic Oscillator. We'll modify its settings to K% length to 7, K% smoothing to 3, and D% smoothing remains at 3. Lastly, add the Bollinger Bands, stick to its default settings. We've set up everything we need for the strategy on the chart. Before we proceed, please give this video a like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos. Now, let's delve into the trading strategy. We're capitalizing on volatility here. Instead of chasing trends, we're hunting for extreme price movements, specifically when prices hit overbought or oversold thresholds. This strategy shines when the market plateaus, as a complementary tool to trend-following techniques. But remember, this method can be riskier, often going against prevailing price movements to capture potential volatility spikes. Spotting a trading opportunity requires three signals. For initiating a long position. 1. The price should breach and close below the Bollinger Band's lower boundary. 2. The RSI should be under 30, indicating an oversold market. 3. The stochastic oscillator should also be below 20. Once these conditions are met, we wait for the K% line, blue line, to cross above the D% line, orange line, on the stochastic oscillator. This crossover gives us the signal to open a long position, place the stop loss below the Bollinger Band's lower band and set the profit target at the middle band. You can also place your take profit at the upper band of the Bollinger Bands, but this will have a higher risk of not catching because the middle band acts as a resistance level. Most of the time, the price stops at this level. For a short position, 1. A candle should close above the Bollinger Band's upper boundary. 2. RSI should exceed 70. 3. The stochastic oscillator should be above 80. Wait for the K% line to cross below the D% line to open a short position. Set the stop loss above the upper Bollinger Band and target the middle band for profit. Always be vigilant of risk, especially in non-trending markets. The 1% rule is your friend here, limiting potential losses to 1% of your account per trade. For instance, a $10,000 account risks only $100 per trade. If you're eyeing a Bitcoin long position at $30,000 with a stop loss at $29,000, your per coin risk is $1,000. Thus, the Bitcoin amount to buy is 0.1 or roughly $3,000, safeguarding your account from drastic downturns. If you're new to trading, scalping might be a tall order given its rapid pace and psychological demands. Practice extensively, and only dive into real money trades once you've honed your skills and built consistent paper trading results. Thank you for joining me today. If you've any queries, drop them below, and I'll respond as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more insights. Catch you in the next one, and happy trading!